I don't quite get how these core XY things work. Like, how does it stay level? Check it out. He, he, he DMs me and he's like, So is it slower on the first layer? Or yeah, it's, it's running 100 right now. Oh, okay. It jumps up to 350 once it breaks the first layer. All right. So how long does this take to program? Um, it depends on the board. Um, you give it the position file uh, from like a river export. Okay. That. When you make boards, what is, what's your kind of uh, your supplier? Um, we use JLC for most of our boards. Yeah. But uh, this is actually a circuit board. This oh, panel. okay. And so is this. Uh, this is our calibration panel. Uh, it's, we call it a datum board. 
And we get those from PCBWA and Matt Black as well. So it's actually running on a separate controller entirely. Okay. It's running on an ESP32 that talks to Clipper via serial. Uh, all right. So it just sends a signal, a single serial command to run this profile, and then it's probably the unit one. And also, the temperature of these filaments isn't high enough under the hood. Stickers and that come out. I'm more like in the FDF printers and uh, not, not really know about the design printers. So, uh, it's taking a look. <laughs> I, I haven't modified anything other than putting a different spool holder up top. Man, that takes a lot. Of it runs with it. It runs clipper. From the manufacturer. Yeah, this, is, this is your control board. Does it include that? Yes. No. So, that's it. It's a book. It's a book. That's it. Really? Uh, so you got it working. That's cool. She's moving. Yeah. Yeah, she is. And the dude down there with the giant stuff has like a four foot by five foot red area. So if you're talking like giant, giant, he's the guy to talk to. With the giant, the giant flexible on their head. So he's got a ridiculous. Yeah. But it sounds weird when you say it that way. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, come get a shot on the back. I've got a custom loop here. Oh, water cooling? Yeah, for the hot end. Okay. That's impressive. So, uh, are you are you like a YouTube channel or uh, no, just um, Railcore? Uh, oh, yeah. I've heard of that. So I'm actually just a community member of Railcore. Okay. Uh, they released the, the mini uh, like maybe eight months ago, and I'm the first person to build a, one of the minis, and I just kind of like took it in an insane direction. Yeah. So right now it's running a thousand millimeter per second. Um, wow. Travels and at fifty k. Okay. I've got my Ender threes going, so you know. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I was looking at this one yesterday, but it wasn't running. Uh, but now it's going, so want to check it out. Like, I guess my voice, and I 
I'm like, but the first is not as fast as the one. Exactly. Hey, how's it going? Good. The filaments are looking pretty snazzy there. <laughs> uh, uh, models they don't need, they shred it and they ship it out to us. Okay. We make a new filament or fab labs. Typically, fab labs uh, they shred it 